We accept the love we think we deserve. I have found the paradox that if you love until it hurts, there can be no more hurt, only more love. Gaining love is never worth it if you have to lose yourself in the process. Endless love is fueled by endless friendship. If you want to have the greatest romance ever, have the greatest friendship ever. Cultivate it, do not let friendship die. Remember, it's not a lack of love that destroys relationships, it's usually a lack of friendship. The greatest gift you can give somebody is your own personal development. I used to say, if you will take care of me, I will take care of you. Now I say, I will take care of me for you if you will take care of you for me. I love you, that means I'm not just here for the pretty parts. I'm here no matter what. You are not in love with me. You are in love with the way I made you feel the center of my world. You are in love with the idea of being in love. That's the difference. I no longer believed in the idea of soulmates or love at first sight. But I was beginning to believe that a very few times in your life if you were lucky, you might meet someone who was exactly right for you. Not because he was perfect or because you were, but because your combined flaws were arranged in a way that allowed two separate beings to hinge together. Love is more than just a feeling it's a choice you make every single day. Go and love someone exactly as they are. And then watch how quickly they transform into the greatest, truest version of themselves. When one feels seen and appreciated in their own essence, one is instantly empowered. Do you want me to tell you something really subversive? Love is everything it's cracked up to be. That's why people are so cynical about it. It really is worth fighting for, being brave for, risking everything for. And the trouble is, if you don't risk anything, you risk even more. When reading. We don't fall in love with the character's appearance. We fall in love with their words, their thoughts, and their hearts. We fall in love with their souls. Perhaps one did not want to be loved so much as to be understood. I believe in the kind of love that doesn't demand me to prove my worth and sit in anxiety. I crave a natural connection, where my soul is able to recognize a feeling of home in another. Something free-flowing, something simple. Something that allows me to be me without question. Don't break up. Fix the problem. Start the romance again. Go on dates again. Work on winning each other over again. This is why there are so many failed relationships. If you love each other and are best friends then breaking up is not the answer. People who have been single for too long are the hardest to love because they have become so used to being single, independent, and self-sufficient that it takes something extraordinary to convince them that they need you in their life. Fall in love with someone who is both your safe place and your biggest adventure. Someday, I will travel the world with someone I love. One day you will find someone that chooses you and continues to choose you every day and that's when you will be thankful everything happened the way it did. A soulmate isn't someone who completes you. No, a soulmate is someone who inspires you to complete yourself. A soulmate is someone who loves you with so much conviction and so much heart that it is nearly impossible to doubt just how capable you are of becoming exactly who you have always wanted to be. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new facts. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.
please like, share and subscribe.